Multis Channel. Hello, my lovely child on the internet, and welcome back to Mario and Rabbit's Team Battle. Last time, we did the two stages that I think in this whole game have annoyed me so much that I didn't want to even continue <laughs> doing the rest of the recording. <laughs> but this time, we don't have that luxury anymore of being annoyed. Let's hope that stays put. We have enough problems as it is. You're right. After that last two, after those last two stages, we do have more problems than that. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But we got a gramophone. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I forget. But it is, but it's the thing that you use to play records on. Very, very spooky indeed. Like this, we don't have MP3 players. We had things that played records. Record, record, record. Ralph? Sorry, I, that was more cringy than I needed to be. I do apologize for I have made the biggest mistake in my generation. But yeah, I hope you guys don't mind just exploring around for 10 minutes at the stage. Because that's what we're doing this part! And then we're going to be doing a mission, and then I think that's it. So, if we're ready. I, I got some uh, sour, fuzzy peaches right here. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. By the way, I had a dentist appointment the other day, so I shouldn't be eating this. Considering I just got a tooth yanked out of my fr uh, my friggin' face, my dude. Like, can you believe it? Mm. But it tastes so good. Oh my jaw! <laughs> oh my jaw! Ah, uh, but they taste so good. So yeah, how's everybody doing? Uh, this is still in the whole. Uh, this is still during the time where I have my day off, so. Open up a path. That's good. Opening the gates. Ah, we clearly are on the right track. Let's see what our fairy godmother has to say. <laughs> My humor circuits are out of control. Hmm. Good job, you found one of the relics. Hopefully it was extremely unpleasant. What? Wait, I read that right, huh? What? <laughs> uh, unpleasant for the enemies, I mean. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a minute, did I read that correctly? No, I did. Okay. <laughs> the, <laughs> the second relic of goodness will involve a long, perilous journey during which you'll probably meet a, a gritty end. Have fun! <laughs> or gritsly end, I guess. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I certainly hope that Tom Pam, this Tom Pam person, is worth the trouble. Still, if there's a chance he can help us defeat Brother Jr. and rescue Swanee, we've got to take it. Mmm. Mmm, peaches, man. Mmm. Know what's spookier than Spooky Trail? Eating fuzzy peaches, because man, that taste, man, it haunts me to this day. <laughs> Mm. Alright, so now it's time to go exploring and doing stuff that's fun. Yay, 
we got a swamp house. Hooray. That's how I feel after we literally <laughs> got bodied on the last two stages. And if you're wondering, yes, I've at this point in the playthrough, I've given up on trying to perfect them all on screen. And instead, I'm just trying to go for getting through the story because I know that's what you guys have been waiting for for almost five months now. Six, actually. So, at this point, I'm just like, nah, let's just get, let's get through the game. If I perfect the stages, then cool. If I don't, then whatever. But you know what's the most important to me? Not frustrating myself trying to keep replaying the stages. As soon as, as soon as, <laughs> I still remember that stage from the last world that annoyed me. Don't worry, I did. I do. And you know what? That kind of taught me a lesson of, hey, if you can't beat it and get the perfect, that's fine. We can always go back and beat the buttons later, but, you know. No skid off my back. Wow. Sometimes you gotta tell yourself, what am I willing to put up with today? And sometimes you also gotta say, how far are you willing to go before you know you're gonna break, my dude? <laughs> Believe me, I have a limit to how much I will put up with. When I, and when I have to put up with enemies that literally have such a re really big scope of just, yeah, no, you, you can't play the game, sir. Uh, I'm gonna de I'm gonna destroy any chance that you have of having fun too, so I hope you don't mind because I'm gonna do that. No, I'm good. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, bleh. not again. Guys, guys, you wouldn't believe what happened. That's Toadette's voice now. I'm not doing the. I'm not, I'm not doing it, don't worry. Toad, wander off, and you got separated, and now you need our help to find him again. What a bunch of nonsense. What a bunch of... <laughs> no. We were playing hide and go seek, and then we got separated. Yes, Toadette, because, you know, that's better. That's... Mm. This used to be a great place for that kind of stuff. Yeah, what, mm hmm I wonder what changed that. Spooky, but not too spooky if you catch my drift. Or if you catch my dreaming, but now... Yeah, Mario and everybody else is how... <laughs> it's how we all feel right now. You know, you know, we are heroes. It's not like we don't have quests or things to do. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Oh, I don't want to be a bother, but I'm going to be anyways because I'm funny. Haha, <laughs> I'm Toadette. I'm the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Couldn't I just tag along and look for him myself? Princess Rabbit has the right point. Just no, please no. <laughs> that was a burp. I apologize, but I don't. I'm sorry, we're simply too busy right now, too. I'll give you what's ever inside this chest I found. That is still on my head for some reason. If it's just an old boot or rusty telescope or something, what use of it will it be to us? I will have to use my laser vision and burn you to that. Oh, do you think? This little, okay. Okay, I see how it is, Toda. You really just want us to do oh, yeah. an escort mission and waste our time. Well, I'll just, I'll just, I'll still give you what I have in it if you help me find Toad. <laughs> and with that, now we have an escort mission that we're forced to do. Yay, we all love those, right? 
I liked it the first three times, so why wouldn't we do it a fourth? Ha <laughs> ha! A ghost guitar. So, you can't see it. Nope, not at all. I thought I'd just let, I would let you guys just enjoy him doing his air guitar thing. Alright, where you go? Oh, I found another tarot card! Ooh, spooky! Wait, also, you, you could have seen where Toad was from there, by the way. Alright! But like I said already, they just want Also, that's really bad, by the way. Did you guys see that? They literally just put Toadette's tassels onto Toad's thing. That's literally all they did for that logo. It's really noticeable and it's really bad. It's really bad. Like, you don't understand how bad it is. But yeah, at this point I decided to crack down and be like, okay, I guess it's time to use Rabbit Peach because I'm starting to get tired of getting bodied all the time. Because we don't got a healer. So, I decided to deck her out and, uh, you know, make her a little bit more useful. Which, the only way to make her more useful than she already is is just making her healing go down to one turn. to hey, have to wait for her to get back to two. Because during this game, you really don't get enough time to really contemplate having to use each thing with the best benefit. Sometimes you just gotta use it to use it, and then move on. Mm-hmm. So I hope you like me going through menus. Right now I'm bored looking at myself going through these menus, but I'm just showing you what my current setup is while answering, putting in the rest of my points. But anyways, let's start. So yeah, welcome to the mission where we're going to be constantly chased by spawning enemies the whole time. There's no other enemies on the board. They're all going to spawn in due time. And if you can't tell, I was very scared because those hoods look like the enemies that I are I really hate. And that's all you need to know. But yeah, as you can see in the top right graphic, that's really bad. Like, they literally just stuck... I don't care what you say, that's literally just the toe head winking with two added, like... Mushroom uh, braids, but whatever. But yeah, basically this mission is run for your life and kill everything as you run. That's that's the basic mission in a nutshell. But I can't say one thing about the stage that I can't say about the past two stages that we played. This one is actually kind of fun and interesting. Because instead of having people just blocking your way for no reason, they just come out of the ground and spawn out of the ground. So you at least get a chance to react to stuff instead of just getting bombarded. Like with the, th with the ghost peekaboos. Which can go peek my boo if you know what I'm saying, but you probably don't, so that's fine as well, too, I guess. Yeah! 
And if you haven't guessed it already, this is the only mission we're doing for this part. So I hope you're in for the long haul. Because I sure am. This is actually a pretty short part, all things considering. Considering, again, this is one stage. The only thing that makes it long is that, again, you have to escort to that. Because in the next part after this one, uh, no, in the next part, the next stage we do is like the only stage and then it's all story stuff, really. But it goes by pretty fast, so it's like, mm, I don't feel like, I feel yeah. super bad for doing this. Also, I'm eating the last of my fuzzy peaches and I'm sad now. My dude. I don't know why I'm so in love with sour candies like this, but I love them to bits, my dude. Get back there, boy. By the way, that guy got Wombo comboed for no reason, my dude. He did not deserve to die like this. <laughs> that dude took a beating of a lifetime. That felt really good to do, by the way, because... Hey, I took a beating several times during that last session. So I, so I said to myself, it was about time somebody else gets beaten for once, and it wasn't just me. Again, making sure Toadette is safe is the main priority, just because if, if, hmm. Because if Toadette dies, we lose the match altogether. I don't care about perfects, I just care about getting the mission done, because if I had to redo the stage more times than I had to, then I'd be pretty upset. So that's all I, that's how I really feel, and I'm like, well, <laughs> off I go. Alright, so the pipe. Jump off her. Jump off Mary you, and then we go right to here. So, you know, so far the stage isn't that bad, right? It's not that bad, it's just running from the people who are spawning, spawning behind us. Fortunately, I didn't space Luigi in a place where we could abuse his itch, uh, his itchy feet, but, you know, that's not neither here nor there. Okay, so a guy spawns on there, that's not a huge deal. Again, Toadette just has to hurry up, because we need to get a move on before those other hoppers decide to try to catch up to us. You know, as they try, you know, and do. But again, you can't really tell what enemy it is, but if you know, if you remember, I guess the good thing is if you remember what type of pattern any enemy has, then you could probably guess what it is. Which, that's just a regular rabbit that has a hero shot, so... So what am I planning on doing? I'm just thinking at this point. Should I put... I shouldn't put Mario in the way of the hoppers, but I shouldn't also put him in the way of the guy who's just spawning, so... I'm like, cool, I'll put him in this crevice for now. Gotcha. So, you know, we're in four turns. And I think the criteria is beating this in seven turns, so we're almost finished the stage, surprisingly. But again, it's just like, okay, well everything's going well, so I don't see how we're gonna lose this unless they give us, like, random smashers that come out of the ground. Which, if that's the case, then I'll be pretty upset. Well, okay, right, the regular rabbit goes, shows up, and then he does his... And, you know, he opens his eyes to the third world. Oh, it's 
Now, see, this is where I start to get panic. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Mm, I don't know what to do, because, you know, now we have to do some backtracking to help out your girl, because if not, she's going to get targeted down way too fast. Because, as, as you would expect, or something that's ridiculous, uh, now we have ghosts with the peekaboos showing up, and as you know how I feel about peekaboos, they are the most terrifying enemies up to this point in the game. Just because of the fact that they are just terrifying. But also I feel like because I panicked because of the peekaboo, I think I started to make some really unwise decisions. Poor decisions? Somebody would say. Get the crit, get the crit, get the, get the crit. He's not dead, mind you, but I did get the crit. Oh, he is dead. Never mind. I take back what I said. But now at this point, I'm like, okay, since now it's not safe enough for Toadette to go down there, might as well go down, right? Now, this may have been one of the bigger mistakes that I didn't really consider until it, it happened. So now, Toadette's on the lower part of the stage. That means the chances of her getting hurt are more likely to happen. Yeah, I hope I don't waste it this turn. I, I really hope I don't. I, I forget if I do or not, because I'm like, man, it's not really worth doing that, because there's not any enemies that are going to be in the range, so. But no, pretty much right now, Rabbit Luigi and Rabbit Peach are up top, unless I move Rabbit Luigi down. But I don't know why I would, but... I think I moved... I know why I moved Rabbit Peach down, just because Mario needs some healing. But... about that. I'm back now. There's probably nothing too interesting to talk about other than the fact that, oh yeah, more enemies are spawning at the bottom. Uh, we're taking a little bit of uh, heavy fire from, uh, you know, everything and every anything and everything that could be possibly going wrong in the stage right now. Uh, but at this point I'm just like, okay, we only have a few more turns to get you know, your girl to where she needs to be. But if I can do that, then we should be good to go. Because we we'll, if we want to get the perfect, I believe it's in like seven or eight turns we need to get Toadette to her destination. So, at this point I'm just like, double as fast as we can, get stuff set up, and we should be good. <laughs> Even though we still have enemies behind us, we can't really do too much about that, but we have to move as fast as we can. Time to 
Unfortunately, he's put a, in a good spot to shoot her. As you would, as you would expect. taking a beating that she didn't really deserve. And as you can tell, I'm getting pretty worried at this point. She just took three shots that weren't in the luckily it takes two for the machine. There was one less piece of damage I had to worry about. So this is where I put all my eggs into one basket, by the way. This is the gamble that I'm, I was basically gonna do because, you know, hey, if all else fails, am I right? <laughs> if all else fails, I'm gonna do the best that I can with what I have. So with using Hero Shot, I'm gonna start, I'm about, I'm about to start busting some people. Move towards Toadette, you're dead. <laughs> but I need to get Rabbit Peach up there as safely as I can because. Don't do that, me. You're making a bad decision. Uh, I don't know why I didn't try to heal her, honestly. That's an oversight on my. in my. In my, uh, in my honest opinion. I'm, I'm trying to remember what I was thinking about doing, but kill him, that wasn't guaranteed to have problems. And then I was just, I guess I was trying to make sure that this guy wouldn't get into too much of trouble while I'm trying to take out, while I'm trying to make her get to the goal, I guess was the real thing. And he's on sticky fight now, so... You know what really would have made the Toad interesting missions more interesting? If you could bounce off them like you would any other teammate, but I understand they didn't want to make it so you could just use them as a stepping stool or use or they could use the your teammates as stepping stools and vice versa. Oh of course Luigi Mesh was just pretty unfortunate, but that's okay. Because again, we're just trying to do as much damage as we can so nobody can get in the way. Kill him. I was very upset when I missed that shot. I'm like, really? That was literally point blank as you could get. But you still missed it. I'm upset. And of course he gets to redo his shield. Shumari. Bunch, but again, Grim would have it. He's dead. So that's one less thing again we have to worry about. And as you saw there, this is when I really got it, got worried. Because I'm like, okay, you know, we can deal with as many enemies as we want, but you know. As soon as we start adding more enemies into the equation, this is gonna get really, really a lot harder to deal with. Anyways, at this point, I'm like, okay, Todak could make a final de a desperate sprint, and we could be human shields for her if we do this correctly. So, basically, I have a, I have a new plan now. I'm like, okay, this is Operation Give Up Your Life for Todak. Um, we're basically I already made a sound. Um, yeah, we are we are doing exactly that. <laughs> we are gonna make one last push to get Toadette where she needs to be, while keeping everybody else safe. So, considering that Toadette wasn't was the only character that wow. had moves this turn, and she can still still take a benefit of the itchy feet, I decided okay. We're just gonna heal everybody up, 
even her, so she can make sure she can live. And then we're gonna make her just bolt as fast as we can. And even and since we're all huddled, huddled together. I decided it would be good use of our uh, time and resources to go ahead and just get some blue stuff on. Yeah, at this point we pretty much have the stage in the bag. It's just, there was a lot of big complications that could have been worse for us if I didn't really take it slow and think about how I could face some certain scenarios, but in the end it's fine. Surprisingly, they just keep aiming for everything that's not Toadette for some reason, which I'm fine with, of course, but like, I was actually pretty surprised by some of the stuff. I was like, okay, well, I guess this is just us gonna go ahead and uh, beat the stage, I guess. Because really, all we have to do now is just make sure that the, that dude that's over there doesn't get a chance to play. Oh, yeah. Sorry, dude. And you're gonna die. So, congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe he did that. That moron. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, basically this is the end of the mission. There's not much left now. This just... Next turn we... Make Toadette walk down, and then we're done. But... Again, as you can see, that was going to be super stressful because of just the fact that, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier to get bodied in this game than it looks. It really is. <laughs> because again, as soon as, as soon as we, if we left any of those enemies behind us at any point, we probably would have been in a bigger pickle than if we just did it now. So. Time to play! Do I crit him? Oh yeah, and that's how Luigi kills him. I forgot that was a thing. And again, just for style uh -oh. points, Luigi does it on both sides, because why not? But yeah, at, as soon as we got that, I was like, okay, yeah, we can freeze up the stage. And by the way, it was 10 turns to get the perfect. I thought it was earlier than that. It probably could have. But again, there's a lot of things that are holding you back from doing it, so. But yeah, at this point, I'm like, yeah, whatever. We beat the stage. Toadette, just go. As soon as I get Luigi down here, just in case. Oh yeah, because I had, I wanted to guarantee that you would do it, so I was like, here, have some itchy feet action, because I it would only took it only took one more turn. So. I'm a wiener. Take some itchy feet, go for the pipe, and just barely had enough. Yeah! But we did. It. <laughs> Oh no, it is eight turns, so yeah, no, we didn't get a perfect. But I was like, yeah, well, what scenario that we were thrusted into? I didn't I don't care. <laughs> we still got good. Benefits of getting lost. With a silver, which is f whatever. Again, I don't care. Eeny meeny money mo. Does my throat hurt, yes or no? Ugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a happy reunion. Oh, how did you guys find me? The same way we found you last time. <laughs> two, on the last two or three occasions, whenever it happened, I've lost count. <laughs> yeah! Yep, fun times. Especially for the player who has to deal with the shenanigans. <sighs> May I suggest that you two go back the way that you came and find something to do indoors? Such as playing Magic the Gathering or Persona 5? Hmm. Like making jam, putting up something, some new wallpaper or something? Hmm, jam! Yeah. yeah, but first, one more game oh. of hiding seek. 
Also, I like Luigi doing the Sonic finger finger wag. Oh no! 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 Oh yeah. Hold on! I yeah. promised them this treasure chest if they helped me. Wait! Don't. Everybody, let's see what's inside this useful chest before I shoot them with my ray beams. Hmm. Before we collect the second racket, uh, relic, the <laughs> racket, the racket Ralph. Yes. So before we collect the next racket Ralph, my dude. But yeah, with that, we're pretty much done for this part. We're gonna see what's in here, and we're gonna explore just a small portion because, you know, <laughs> that was that was a bummer. And yes, we get the worst statue in the game, Peekaboo. Was it worth it? No, it made me cringe. But anyways, guys, that is everything for this part. If you liked it, make sure you can leave a like, and if you want to see more Mario Rabbit stuff, make sure you can subscribe. At this point, I'm doing it for the meme, but whatever. Anyways, I'll catch you lovely chows next time, so ciao ciao until then. Hey there, thank you very much for watching my video. If you would like, you can go ahead and leave a like down below the video. But again, thank you very much, my lovely cows, for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. So ciao, ciao, until then!